folks and welcome to a new hi-fi news video some of those images represent some of the products i'll be talking about in this video and first up we're starting in the uk and a uk audiophile outfit you might be familiar with called exposure this one is an integrated amplifier it's called the 3510 <laughs> now this is part of exposures higher end releases shall we say and this integrated amplifier it's a class a b amplifier is priced at 2250 pounds now this particular amplifier design uses trickle down technology from the even higher end the 5010 series so it uses some of the components from the higher end design more specifically the 3510 directly replaces the 3010 S2D amplifier. Now the 3510 packs in 110 watts into 8 ohms and it includes 6 line inputs with the option to fit a moving coil or a moving magnet phono module or a plug-in DAC into the chassis. Outputs include bi-wiring compatible speaker outputs a separate pre-amplifier output for bi-amping or for use with a separate power amplifier and a headphone output. On the AV input there is a choice of fixed or variable gain allowing configuration as either regular stereo input or a fixed gain home cinema input. You also get a newly designed remote control and the amplifier itself is available in black or titanium. This unit spans 440 millimeters by 300 by 115 millimeters and it weighs a respectable 12 kilograms. Next up, the DS Audio third generation DS003 optical cartridge. <laughs> is as I say an optical cartridge which is a little bit different from your usual moving magnets and moving coil designs out there. This is still an analog thing and it's not digital in any way but what it does instead of transmitting tiny vibrations to a magnet or to a coil of wire this thing generates a signal by noting the change in brightness using an internal LED light. So the DS003 uses LEDs and photo detectors for the left and right channels to help it do its job. So one of the apparent benefits of this optical system is an almost digital-like silence behind the music, but done in a very analog kind of way. The DS003 also delivers an increased output voltage from 40 millivolts to 70 millivolts. 
This is apparently a good thing in terms of sound quality. Also part of the inherent design, the thing that does the vibrating I mentioned earlier on, is a tiny little plate. This is a shading plate, well, that's what it's called, and it's mounted right behind the stylus. The new design sports a smaller plate made from 99.9% .9 pure beryllium, allowing for a 50% weight reduction. And being lighter, it means it's more responsive in terms of those vibrations I mentioned. Again, all good for sound. It's actually less than one tenth of the mass of a moving coil's cartridge core and coil system. So again, much more responsive than the usual moving coil designs. The 003 features an aluminium cantilever with a line contact stylus, and the cartridge body, the chassis itself, is also made from aluminium. Internally, the wiring is 1.6 times thicker than the previous models in order to reduce impedance. The weird thing about optical cartridges is you can't use them with a phono amplifier, not the normal phono amplifier. It uses a weird little box called an equalizer. So they go hand in hand. And if you ever wanna buy yourself an optical cartridge, you really need to be buying an equalizer as well. So you need to budget really for both, not just the cartridge. You need to budget for both the cartridge and the equalizer. The new equalizer design here includes a thicker circuit board and thicker copper foil. In addition, the 003 equalizer allows you to select from four low frequency cutoff points. This means you can select the output that best matches your system. The cartridge weighs in at 7.7 .7 grams, while the equalizer, the phono amp replacement, that weighs in at about five kilograms. And the equalizer spans 330 millimeters by 92 by 295 millimeters. Both of these components are out now. The price of the cartridge is 2,298 pounds. The equalizer on its own is 3,147 pounds. And if you combine the two as a package, you're gonna be paying 4,995 pounds. And now we're going to change the hi-fi component and we're gonna change the price point as well. And we're gonna look as a pair of headphones. Headphones that can be either bought as wired or Bluetooth. looking at the wired HI-X15s or the Bluetooth HI-X25BTs from a company called Austrian Audio. Both of these headphones can be used for hi-fi home use or indeed can be used in the Pro Studio environment. The X15 wired version includes a detachable 1.4 meter cable with a three and a half millimeter termination, but you also get a 6.35 millimeter adapter if you're faced with that larger socket. And the headphones weigh in at 255 grams without the cable. There is a cable available for the Bluetooth version and that can be plugged in with a USB-C socket if, for example, the battery runs down and you're still listening to music, you can use that wired option. That also includes a three and a half millimeter termination with an adapter if you need it. The Bluetooth version weighs 270 grams without any cable attached. To control the headphones, there are little touch controls on one of the ear cups and the Bluetooth itself, well, that's version five. It will run for around, oh, I don't know, 30 hours or so. Presented in a fold-away chassis, fired with a durable all-metal hinge. If you happen to get a call while wearing the headphones, you can answer it with the built-in microphone. Based on the company's 44 mm high-X, high-excursion technology, both units have a 25 ohm impedance, 
and the ear pads that both feature are made of soft memory foam. Both of these headphones are out in Europe and Asia in August this month as I'm talking now and in the USA well that's a little bit later in September. For the Bluetooth version prices are £135 in the UK, £179 in the US and €149 Euros in Europe. For the wired version that translates to £89, $119 or 99 euros. Next up, a pair of speakers from JBL, the stand mounted L52 Classics. speakers arrive with a walnut wood veneer enclosure and a quadrix foam grille available in a choice of black, blue or orange. In effect these speakers are scaled down versions of JBL's L82 classic designs. The L52 classics are two-way designs utilizing a 19 mm titanium dome tweeter plus an acoustic lens waveguide and underneath the tweeter is a 133 mm mid-bass unit. You also get a front panel high frequency level attenuator if you feel the need to tweak the sound for your room. On the front is a bass port and back at the rear are a couple of little holes to attach the speaker to a wall mount if you need to mount the speakers in that way. The JBL L52 Classics will be available in Q4, as they say in all the best industry magazines and the Financial Times, of 2021, priced at a very round £1,000 a pair. Now we have an amplifier, an integrated valve amplifier from BAT. Yes, BAT. <laughs> This is the VK80i and BAT stands for Balanced Audio Technology. This integrated amplifier uses triode balanced architecture and yes there are mains fuses for overall mains protection but there are no circuit board placed fuses in this system. Fuses like this are normally used to protect the valves themselves but the fuses have been removed to improve sound quality. The sound signal has one less hurdle to jump before it gets to your ears. So to protect the valves there's a tried and tested inbuilt circuit protection which means that if there's any issues the amplifier closes down and if you restart the amplifier from cold again it should work fine. This 55 watt per channel amplifier uses triode 6C 33C B valves. There is also an automatic bias feature design which adjusts for changing the line voltage for aging valves with each output valve having its own bias circuit. Rather useful. This one is available in black or silver and it includes a total of four 6S and 7 valves and four 6C 33C Bs eight in all, you also get a remote control. Spanning 431 by 203 by 406 millimeters. This is quite a weighty design, which comes in as oh, just over 20 kilograms. So bend your knees and keep your back straight. This one you can buy in September of 2021. And well, you'll get five pound change out of 10,000 pounds for this one. And finally, we have the seventh generation, no less, of the Silver series from Monitor Audio, a whole host 
of speakers for your enjoyment. This series was first released back in Quo, 1999 I think it was. The new 7th generation series will be available in high gloss black lacquer, satin white or a choice of three real wood veneers, ash, natural walnut and black oak. So the series includes the silver 50 7G, the silver 100 7G, both of those are bookshelf stand mounted speakers. In terms of floor standards, there's also the 200, the 300, and also the 500. Now in the silver range, there's also some AV specific speakers, center speakers and what have you. You can see more about those down below. So what's new? Well, you've got a new Ccam Gold Tweeter to think about. That has a new magnet structure and rear chamber, with a new uniform dispersion waveguide too. There's also a new RST, and that stands for Rigid Surface Technology, or should I say RST Mark II. That's the name of the new mid-range and mid-base drivers. And they feature a more rigid profile with new hexagonal dimpled structures. There's also a new crossover design as well. And you get new trims and all that aesthetic goodness. Every floor stander is supplied with outrigger feet suitable for hard floors or carpets and there's new magnetic grills as well. The Dinky Silver 50s are priced at £575. The slightly larger 100 stand mounts are priced at £750. The cheapest floor standers, the 200s, are priced at £1,150. Next up the ladder, the floor standing 300s are priced at £1,450. And finally, the higher end 500s are priced at £1,725. And that is a fairly brisk run through of six new products heading your way. Hope you enjoyed this particular video. I'm already collecting news items for the next one. Hope you can join me for that and I hope you can join me for the next video I'll be issuing next week. That one will probably be a review, quite possibly speakers, but not too sure just yet. Possibly will be though, who can tell? Before I go, if you could do me a big favour and click on the like and subscribe buttons just below here, please also check out the description below that will list all of the contacts for the companies I've just talked about. You'll also find social media contact links in there, my Facebook group, which you're welcome to join, my website, which includes a whole host of new material, which you won't see on this channel, and also check out my Patreon page. It really helps me to keep going and to invest in new reviews in the future. So any support you can provide is much appreciated indeed. I'll be back with a new video next week. Hope you can join me. I'd love to have your company then. Until that time, bye-bye for now.